there. Now to that tragedy in Newark. A 12-year-old football player, Elijah Brown Garcia, collapsing during a practice at a field on Friday. His mom says he wasn't tackled and he wasn't hit either. One problem, no one there knew CPR. And her son, she says, laid on the ground for about 40 minutes before any attempt was made to resuscitate him. Can you imagine? New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson live at Westside Park football field with what the family is now demanding. Anthony. Yeah, Bill, can you imagine so much sadness and so much grief for this family? They are certainly overwhelmed. They're still waiting for a report from the medical examiner to find out how this 12 year old died. But he came out here on Friday afternoon to play football because he wanted to be with his younger brother. He didn't deserve this. He was a good kid. Heartbreak with every breath. This pain cuts deep in the soul. He had so much further to go. He had so much more time. He was supposed to be here. Elijah Jordan Brown Garcia was involved in light football drills last Friday here on the field at Westside Park. He collapsed right near his younger brother. He was like ready to get back up. So I don't think he caught his breath that he needed to get. Mm -hmm. And when he got up, he passed out. It appears no one knew CPR, but several people called 911. Somebody on the phone for 911 or an ambulance, they should have said to do palpitations on his chest until they get there. A police precinct is next to the park, but 911 calls on cell phones can go to dispatchers countywide. The family says it took up to 30 minutes for EMS to arrive, and it was too late to save the sixth grader. Why we don't have the bare minimum for the children, for the kids? The sixth grader at the Rise Academy Charter School was an athletic child who meant so much to his family. It's unbelievable to me because he didn't have any underlying health issues, anything. Nothing was wrong. Football tragedies and sports have been highlighted by the incident involving Bills player DeMar Hamlin. Fortunately, he had a medical team there to help. But last fall, Linden High School player Xavier McClain collapsed in a game and died. Now a GoFundMe page is set up to help Elijah's family pay for the funeral. But the grief and anguish following a mother's loss of her firstborn child is unshakable. <laughs> now a vigil has been set for coming Saturday at 1.30 here at the field to remember young Elijah. I did reach out to the coach and spoke to him over the telephone. He told me from now on in, coaches and parents that are out here with the kids, at least one of them, will know CPR.